now. Why? Because that campaign brought them 15 lakh eyeballs on social media within 45 days. 15 lakhs? Yes. Right? Hmm. We did a campaign that you can open a store hmm. at a cost of a chai per day. Oh. To rebrand it. Like people should know what Instamojo is all about and what they are doing now. Hmm. So hmm. we pitched them an influencer marketing camp. Yeah. Also people who are sitting for 7 days and listening to Bhagavad Gita in one shot. Hmm. You will find all kind of people. Right? Yes. Plus, India is maximum youth population that is busy somewhere. <laughs> in Pink, okay, let's do it. And they gave us a pilot project of around 4-5 lakhs and they said, okay, try it, we can take a risk on hmm, it, kind hmm, of a hmm, thing. Hmm. But, and I was also very scared working with such a big brand. I said, if things don't go well, hmm. there will be a lot of negative word of mouth. Yes. But the thing is that they're still with me for three. Welcome to the Power Talk show. We are back with another bang on episode. I welcome you, Saurabh. Thank you so much, Kunal. Thank you for becoming our guest and giving us your valuable time. Most welcome, most welcome. Always happy to share some good, valuable insights and be here. Thanks very much, Saurabh. So, starting ke liye, I would just introduce Saurabh in, uh, to you guys. So, Saurabh basically work as a brand strategist and uh, wo help karte hai startups, ko, D2C brands ko and other uh, agencies ko to scale their business with the help of his services and some products. So initially, Saurabh, I would want to ask you, ki how do you introduce yourself to a 9 to 5 person or a corporate professional? I introduce myself to everybody in the same way that I'm a guy who experiment with life, hmm. right? So work is one thing in the introduction. Work is a very small part of introduction, right? But my major thing is uh, to add value to anybody whom I can meet anywhere. Hmm. Does not matter whether it's a professional event or I'm standing on a bus stop hmm. if I meet someone I try to take more interest in their lives first hmm. and understand where I can add value because I think I always carry some books that I read in my bag and hmm. I keep gifting them away to people Are they very good? even in a metro if I'm traveling from a metro and I find a nice person who hmm. you know get into a conversation with me hmm. I end up giving them a book hmm. so that they remember me first Are they, that's really so great. I think building relationships a relationship builder, a community builder is how I love to introduce myself. Hmm. Every other part of the profession that makes me money is a small part that keeps changing, I think, over a period of time. Yeah. Uh, so you have been a mechanical engineer, right? Yes. And the transition is very much, I would say, ki not usually seen yes. in, in this you know era we are, where we are living right now. Because mechanical say brand strategy is completely opposite profiles. Hai. So what was your journey like? becoming a brand strategist and uh, what do you think ki mechanical engineer se aap, mechanical engineering se aapne kuch aisa seekha and you were able to implement it in your venture so i think mechanical engineering was the first option because we live in an industrial area hmm. Faridabad itself is a hardcore and i live in sector 22 uh, it's a it's a like surrounded by industries and industries, Workshops. micro and macro and everything correct, correct. and my father being connected to a mechanical supplier he's a industrial lubricant supplier so, so that, that was the only option, option initially and we thought that, that uh, it's an evergreen field hmm. kind of a thing hmm. that hmm. is hmm. a scope, hmm. hai, right? So, so I think okay, mechanical and I was actually, actually passionate about automobile design, design. I'm, I'm very good at sketching, painting, everything. But uh, as everybody knows, but you see or uh, think in the college time, the real life is very different. So my two years was all about designing, working with railway, working with a lot of different brands with my company. The basic understanding of life came through because my uh, first CEO, he was one of my uncles actually, hmm. but he was 64 years old oh. and uh, I was directly working with him. So what I learned from him was how he's dealing with people hmm. because mechanical industry is a chaos every single day. Yes. It's like organizing a wedding every day hmm. and you're dealing with so many people. Yes. He had a very different language with everybody he talks to, but there was nothing fake about it. Hmm. So I think uh, the, the the power of dealing with people, learning from people okay. and implementing same thing on people is things that I still learn today yeah. or use today in my daily life. So you actually feel the thing ki uh, whatever situations you are in right now, it teaches you, it prepares you for something in the future. Yes, it's all about you know how you think. So think of it like a raw material, whatever learning you have, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Profession doesn't matter. But, but as a human being, you are able to use it into multiple situations. Depends upon how you think about it. Correct. So what happens is a lot of people think, okay, mechanical industry is different mm. and brand strategy is different. Actually, it is not. 
Yeah. It can be merged. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. even in mechanical industry, you're dealing with low, so many brands. Correct. Right. So when I work with the Fortune 40 company in mechanical industry, the way they used to conduct themselves, right? The the philosophies of their company. You enter into their company, you cannot wear your own shoes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They will give them a fresh yes. shoes that are clean. So, so that, that is also branding. branding. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why I'm still talking about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. That's branding, right? So you don't regret uh, that that incident of your life? Ki aap I don't regret anything in my life because it was a, uh, you can say, sequence of events that led me here today. Yeah. Nothing to regret. Yeah. So destiny ka role is mein hai. Bohat you feel so? Bohat solid. Yeah. Very nice to hear about it. Because I believe in destiny. Mein bohat believe karta hu. Sometime I, you know, when I backtrace my life, and I see that you know, the man analyze करने बैठ तो I feel कि every event, every mm-hmm. scenario was perfectly planned, with on a perfect situation, perfect yes. destination, सब चीजें planned थी and that made me a better person or whatever I am right now. Yes. Right. So बहुत अच्छा लगा ये चीज सुनके and I'm quite you know in favor of what you say. अभी जैसे सौरव podcast का एक you know wave आई है market में right. We have seen daily vlogging. We have seen, you know, uh, mm. travel vlog- vlogging. We have seen moto vlogging, and eventually, the businesses have taken advantage of those opportunities yes. in making their brands. Right? We have seen big brands like Mama Earth and other. You know, they are paying influencers very good amount of money, and you know, they are scaling their business. Right? What do you feel about podcast industry? How may you know it will impact the current brands and startups and people who are about to start their venture? I would say this is not podcast as an industry. This is content as an industry. Hmm. Ultimately, everything that you and me talk in daily life also is content. Correct. And it is mostly coming from our own experiences of life, what we discuss or talk in our circles, right? So now, content has different types or forms. It can be video, text, graphic, memes. It can be podcast. So podcast is one of the ways of content. And if you see, podcast is not new. Yeah. Right. How? तो पहले के टाइम पे एक वर्ड ऑफ माउथ एक चीज होती थी इट इज नॉट वर्ड ऑफ माउथ इट रेडियो यू सी थर्टी इयर्स बैक देर वो नो टेलीविजन देर वो रेडियोज सो पीपल यूज टू लिसन टू एवरी थिंग इवन द क्रिकेट कमेंट्री दैट वॉज पॉडकास्ट राइट या करेक्ट so it's not new field it is not new mm. it is it is never see content is not new content yeah. is just changing shapes in films yes. right so there was a time when a news channel used to have a very expensive studio to shoot a content and yeah. share it with the world mm-hmm. but today now you and me can sit in a room yes the equipments are available at a very low cost like Correct. in a 20 30000 rupees we can build a studio and yeah. start that same podcasting and a, and a channel correct correct right that will grow over a period of time depending mm-hmm. upon the quality of your content yeah so uh, one thing that keeps striking in my mind is ki like because of reels and youtube shorts the attention duration of people has you know dropped down to you can say 30 second or 40 second right the people the indian audience specifically if i would say they're not habitual of seeing such large content like 2 and a half hours 3 hours 4 hours mm-hmm. because but in west you will see like you know big podcasters mm. they do have a podcast for 3 and a half yes. uh, hours 4 hours 5 hours right and people do watch it they have millions of views on them is pe what what's your take on this like do you do you feel that indian audience need to get improved or there's something else going on right now that you feel so what is going on when you see uh, when we compare let's say us australia canada hmm. or india hmm. right okay the population difference is very high yeah correct yes So in Europe, if you drive for sixteen hours, you will cross five countries. Hmm, 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 in Australia, hmm. you are still in Queensland. Yeah. After sixteen hours, correct, in the same correct. country, correct. So one thing I think is that Indian population, as per the number of people in India, hmm. we are like one point five billion now. That's one fifth of the world's population, yeah. kind of a thing. Hmm. You will find people of everything. people are watching shorts they are doing job or traveling or mm-hmm. doing this and that right they are busy with the work yes. basically building their lives mm-hmm. they really don't have that much time to listen to everything correct whether when we talk about people in us or people in europe they have so much government security right that they have time correct so if you go to france and if you are in uh, in my company and i call you after 5 pm i'm mm-hmm. doing something illegal yeah in india it is not correct correct right so it is about a culture that has been built about learning in those countries that mm-hmm. we don't have right now mm-hmm. for example um today also when i see let's say mindvalley as a company 
their maximum content is around personal and self development right but in india that is being completely overlooked by the founders yes. they are only talking about funding strategy this and that but if you are not able if you are not a person who can manage a 100 people team hmm. no matter what strategy you use correct you won't be able to manage it corporate trainings वगैरह भी like they have been recently introduced like i would say ki pichle kuch saalon mein 10 15 saalon mein maine नोटिस करा है उससे पहले आई डोंट थिंक सो कि जैसे अभी पॉश हो गया प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ सेक्सुअल हेरेसमेंट राइट इस टाइप की ट्रेनिंग्स इट्स इट कम्स अंडर पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट सो दीस आर द टॉपिक्स दैट वर टैबू टॉपिक्स इन इंडिया लाइक टॉकिंग अबाउट सेक्स टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो ओके आई हैव समथिंग बैड इन मी या समथिंग अगली अबाउट मी एंड यू कैन टॉक इट पब्लिकली टू योर एंटायर टीम देयर वाज अ टाइम व्हेन पीपल यूज्ड टू टेक बेनिफिट ऑफ इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट पॉलिटिक्स यस but today people have standing understanding and this understanding has came after covid because during covid no matter who you are how much money you have you are in the same situation yes that's so people got that empathy and compassion hmm right so today people have started talking and i think there are some courageous people who took steps and started creating content around those things yes for example if you talk about seema anand she talks about sex like very openly yes. even from kama sutra mm-hmm. or randhir elabadia people like those they brought in very diverse topics to talk about yes. rather than just one thing correct correct right correct. so i think content also needs diversity because you will keep listening to one type of thing and you'll get bored hmm. so you feel ki uh, like considering the pointer ki people do not watch 3 hours 4 hours long podcast i do hmm. but like do you feel that it's going to happen in future i'll tell you it is all about how you can engage your audience hmm. right for example recently i think uh, um, one of the founders started a very good podcast uh, this um, who is this founder so he is uh, zero the founder zero right the founder, yes. exactly, nikhil right? nikhil okay. and nikhil kamath nikhil kamath right mm. so when he started like people want to listen to him yes because they understand that this guy is a millionaire billionaire mm. without mm. raising funds mm. built a company yes. and when he is talking to someone it's very intellectual and very deep Correct. again If it is a superficial content, yeah, I know it. Mm. People, people it. will find that how much learning is in it, right? Exactly. Because, mm. You need to like, if people are not getting surprised by everything you mm. say, they will not continue it. Yes. So there's a guy named Andrew Red who's you know right now getting viral on social media. So he was arrested for some, you can say, ki kuch, I would say, uh, trafficking ka mm. kuch scene tha uska. and people are bashing him right now because they are considering him as a very bad guy but mm-hmm. i've seen his podcast of you know 3.3 3, 3 and a half hours or 4 hours It's completely different to what his image is portrayed exactly. right now yeah. and the reason why i watch him is because i feel that guy as a you know personality development coach for me yeah. considering my scenarios uh-huh. my situations and circumstances i i actually learned actually learned a, lo- a very you know lot of things from him you will find a lot of people who had a very bad background or criminal background hmm. but people change yes it happens but now the thing is that the way you are talking about this guy his hmm. podcast will change his entire personality yes. over a period of time it happens right so if you think of uh, um, this guy from the world of wall street guy hmm. right okay hmm. leonardo ha huh, right yeah. not leonardo the, the original guy okay, okay. right okay hmm. actually he was a criminal right yes. he had a financial offense hmm. but hmm. today is hmm. a coach correct same fa- sales and finance yeah Right, so there's people a, have accepted that guy. There's a there's because a because the mm-hmm. movie created an image. Yes. What was the movie? Movie was a piece of content. Correct, correct, correct. There's a guy. Uska na ek series hai Netflix pe. I don't remember the name. So he basically he was a con man, hmm. and he earned good amount of money from girls by dating them. He used to fake his profile scam, traveling through hmm. private jet and all these things. Eventually, he got caught up. And uh, right now, he's working as a consultant with some big firms because yeah. his brain is so. freaking sharp exactly and the thinking capability the ability of you know like thinking from Strategy multiple thing. angle yeah. yeah it's it's very different so he's right so now working in a very good that's place that's what we say you know police and criminals have a same mind yes they just use in opposite direction hmm, 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 hmm. so a criminal use the same mind or the same thought process to do a crime yes police use the same criminal mind to decode a crime correct correct and find a person so mind is never a problem hmm, the way hmm. you use it is direction. a direction and people change right 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 very great so uh, i just you know watched your linkedin profile and you have worked with insta mojo mentzi right these very big brands right so how was your experience working with them and you know what was the problem statement like mm-hmm. and how did you tackle it kya kya cheeze thi uske andar 
so i think instamojo uh, so it's a it's a very long story with instamojo actually so one of the very junior content creators were connected with me on linkedin mm-hmm. and then she was like kind of lost we had no connection for 3 4 months and one day i was just scrolling down a facebook community and i ended up commenting on a few posts mm-hmm. right like mm-hmm. added value or people were asking questions so this girl again saw me and now she is working with instamojo oh so she ended up inviting me for a instamojo live show that mm-hmm. they were doing for the business community okay from there i connected with the brand head of instamojo and i just said them ki okay you did a live session on linkedin but mm. there are no views actually mm. so there's a lack of branding i feel so uh, sorry to cut you in between mm. what like what's the business model of instamojo what they do so instamojo is a uh, was a financial gateway company like okay. razorpay is today okay. it was a financial gateway so it was a financial page mm. but now they have converted themselves into a complete online store okay so that transition was the time when i met them actually right okay. and i was like okay let's do something about it so your kra was to make the transition happen no my okay. kra was so they would already transitioned okay. right my thing when i pitched them rupees per day chai hoti hai utne mein aapka store khul jayega online so what does the strategies look like jo aapne approach kara tha is pe so strategy was a mix of youtube instagram and different platforms all digital all digital okay. right okay plus we also figured out rather than very mega influencers mm-hmm. we found out influencers from local areas okay so there was a guy from west bengal um i think and he made a video in bengali hmm oh that video gave maximum clicks yes because uh, local languages mein bahut kam content hota hai Plus but unka fan following bahut strong hota hai ek trust factor bhi build up ho jata hai because he is speaking our language yes. right yes. Hmm. so i think that mix of different sort of medium macro hmm. influencers hmm. Uh, plus reels or full videos yes. integrated and dedicated videos made a lot of difference mm-hmm. and we could test it every week actually oh what is happening so they said okay this worked mm-hmm. repeat it mm-hmm. this worked repeat it mm-hmm. don't repeat it but one experience i would say working with nista mojo was that the entire team never took us as vendors mm-hmm. they took us as a extended team oh when we were like confused about something they mm-hmm. guided us also and i think that was the longest email chain i have in my email there's around 164 emails hmm. working those 50 days and uh, the brand strategy, the brand head of mr mojo now transitioned to a different company hmm. the first thing she does after joining that company is calling me recommend it no not just you know he, she hired me immediately oh. okay there's a new company new product we are now building hmm. a saas product hmm. you come on board right hmm. so now we're building a community for them this company's founder gave us another client hmm. another saas hmm. client who is into b2b b2c saas hmm. right so i think once you work with a bigger brand it is more than you deliver you learn yes and i think the more a agency owner or a freelancer is open to learn from a bigger brand hmm. then to talk about your own expertise yes. you will grow faster it's sort sort of a self development as well right two way street it is it is always It because that happens with us in corporate as well because you know uh, initially i'm a data analyst i do some analytics mm. consulting for you know uh, big you can say clients right but still from those people also i learned very very you know uh, important things that you know i couldn't even imagine of bahut sari cheeze hain like for example like you know prioritizing the task right what needs mm. to be done first right see bigger companies a bigger structure mm. bigger chaos every day to yes, manage yes 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 correct 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 so i feel ki uh, saurabh like you might be you know having a very hectic schedule right pure time calm and all that and you posted uh, you you had a post on linkedin says live your dreams right so what does live your dreams mean for you and so before you you know say i would say ki how it has transitioned from 5 years like what was live your dreams 5 years back to you and what's now hmm. what it is now so i think i have been a guy from a very small age who will think about things hmm. like even at the age of 10 if something is going around regularly and consistently hmm. like kyun ho raha hai hmm. right so for example let's say there is a family ritual of a particular puja happening on a particular festival okay what is the significance of this matlab if i have done this mm-hmm. if i invested my time in mm-hmm. this what is the outcome that i am getting this logical reasoning some logical reasoning i need right yeah. and this is not about engineering or i am very logical person at all mm-hmm. right and there are times when i don't don't use any logic but mm-hmm. i do things mm-hmm. right because somewhere i understood one thing that whatever is happening today can be done in a better way yes things can improve always there is nothing perfect in life right correct 
सो फॉर मी लिविंग माई ड्रीम्स वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग आई कम आउट फ्राम अ नॉर्मल बनिया बिजनेस क्लास फैमिली माई फादर केम फ्राम पंजाब आफ्टर ब्लू स्टार ऑपरेशन सिक्स ब्रदर्स फोर मैरिड एट किड्स लिविंग द स्मॉल हाउस इन फैदराबाद एंड स्टार्ट इड बिल्डिंग देयर राइट सो टूडे वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी बिजनेस ऑल माई कजन एंड माई फादर्स ब्रदर्स एंड ऑल सो आई सो अ वेरी ह्यूज ट्रांजेक्शन हैपन ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ईयर्स राइट but in the same 20 years we have seen amazon growing yes as a multi trillion dollar company or google apple mm-hmm. growing or mm-hmm. google growing or maybe just youtube as a brand growing yes right in terms of content so i think this is not happening in our life as a family mm. i need to change something and the biggest part was as a small business owner your business works only when you work mm-hmm. the day you shut the shop you are not working yes. right so we could not actually take a holiday so i craved for a international holiday mm. or just be on mountains or beaches for a lot of times mm. because at our level the holiday means nani ke ghar jana ha correct that's correct. the end of the topic right <laughs> right yes. you spend a week at nani's place in the summers and you that's, come back uh, that's the holiday equivalent right? to vacation so my main idea when i was into mechanic industry was again same you are working 14 hours a day mm. you cannot take a day off even if you take a day off there are 10 people calling you ye machine mein ye ho gaya wo ho gaya you know it's it's consistently correct, going on correct, correct. right so i was like what what next in life mm-hmm. right and then i started scrolling through internet and one day me and my brother was watching news and it we showed like flipkart turnover like 4500 mm-hmm. crore or something the first time i asked my father what's our turnover he mm-hmm. was like कैसा सवाल है hmm. <laughs> मैंने कहा लॉजिकल है आई वांट टू आस्क समथिंग तो यू नो ही जस्ट शूड मी अवे काइंड ऑफ थिंग छोड़ो फालतू की बात बट देन इट गॉट स्टक दैट ऑनलाइन थिंग्स विल हैपन इन द फ्यूचर ये 2011 हजार ग्यारह बारह है तब भी बहुत ज्यादा नहीं हो रहा था कुछ ओला जस्ट केम ऊबर जस्ट केम टू इंडिया पीपल वर दिस वॉज नॉट द फ्रंट एंड ऑफ थिंग दिस वॉज लाइक सम पीपल आर यूजिंग इट अर्ली अडेप्टर्स दैट टाइम सो आई वॉज लाइक ओके आई नीड टू फिगर थिंग्स आउट एंड देन आई स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड द ड्रीम वॉज ओनली वन थिंग दैट इट्स वन लाइफ वन थर्ड यू विल स्लीप एनी वे सिक्सटी ईयर्स में से वन थर्ड ट्वेंटी और ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स यू विल स्लीप एनी वे देर आर लॉट ऑफ टाइम दैट गोज इन टू योर बेसिक एक्टिविटीज ऑफ लाइफ खाना खाना है नहाना है धोना टाइप करेक्ट राइट अनदर टेन ईयर्स यू हैव ओनली फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ लाइफ लेफ्ट सो मेक इट सिग्निफिकेंट इट वॉज अबाउट फाइंडिंग सिग्निफिकेंस एंड मीनिंग इन दैट लाइफ वैल्यू एडिशन वैल्यू एडिशन राइट टू मी एंड टू अदर पीपल लाइक अगर मैं आया हूँ दुनिया में तो मैंने क्या उखाड़ा इट इज नॉट अबाउट मनी मनी इज अ बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस राइट so when i thought about it i was like okay at least give 5 years to learning i was reading robert kiyosaki a lot that time oh. and he said anything you want to learn new don't think of making money think of learning, learning it for 5 course. years minimum 5 saal mein expertise aata hai fir aap paisa kama sakte ho yes so i focus on that learning part mm-hmm. entered into bpo just to learn sales din mein 250 call karoge to inhibition apne aap khatam ho jata hai kuch log gaali bhi dete hain kuch pyar se baat bhi karte hain kuch kharidte bhi hain and uh, fortunately i entered into a bpo where we were selling insurance to american express black card members oh. now these are the richest of the country hmm. so you are calling an arjun kapoor picking the call ab aapko ye nahi pata ki fan movement dikhana hai ya bechna hai you have to control your emotions yes, yes, man matlab yes. it was very amazing hmm. right so we have done that so this had happened with this you this happened Are right? okay <laughs> Uh, the owner of Agarwal Packers and Movers picked the call. Mm-hmm. He bought twenty four lakh of blood insurance on one call, because these people don't buy insurance for insurance; mm-hmm. they buy for saving taxes, yes. and they need to. He handed over the call to CA. CA made the deal. Mm-hmm. My teammate closed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, team leader, and it was done. Mm-hmm. I'm like, six months' target pura ho gaya. Yeah. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So all these things happened in the process, mm-hmm. and uh, I saw a very beautiful thing in that BPO. Sixty people sitting, calling. daily 200 people hmm. doing a turnover of maybe around i think 2 3 crores per day a month a month okay. but 2 3 crores still a month still is very, crazy very, right? very, yeah and the owner of that bpo the process hmm. never came to bpo hmm. he used to come during rewards and recognitions once okay. a month hmm. right hmm. kisi ne over achieve kiya usko reward dena hmm. he used to just come that day or he is talking to team leaders in a whatsapp group and abusing them hmm. like today our target new what is right but when i calculate everything his profit used to be 6 to 10 lakhs a month Shit. I'm like this guy doesn't come here. Way back in twenty. Way back in twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Like ten lakhs a month. He is he doesn't come here. He just abuses mm-hmm. every morning to the manager mm-hmm. and team leaders, and then he makes ten lakh. Mm-hmm. What this guy has done? Basically, he has invested in the process. Yes. Huge amount of money, maybe one crore, two crore, whatever, right? 
so i started figuring out these thing that this is possible right giving you a recent example like mm, last month was my wedding and we were mm. like on the cloth clothes shopping right mm-hmm. so there's a showroom in pitampura it's all female clothing okay a three floor showroom having 250 employees mm-hmm. doing a 2 and 1/2 crore turnover every Shit. day the owner is not sitting there mm-hmm. right and if it is about clothing it's a 40% margin business <laughs> that means 50 lakh rupees minimum profit every day mm. so bloody hell <laughs> what's happening right it's yeah. a traditional business right no online nothing mm. they don't sell online anything right so there are many examples that were in front of me and so okay i need to build a system now the biggest challenge was mindset of my family and mine hmm very different so how did you cope up with it you need to actually fight it out man hmm. for a long time you actually end up spoiling your relationship with your family hmm. when you when they see you as you are nothing hmm. when you are not making that much money and trying to learn from you know picking up people from the market trying to you know meet them mm-hmm. and you don't know who will invite you where once a guy invited me a five star property mm-hmm. had a cup of coffee with me and he left mm-hmm. i had to pay 2000 rupees <laughs> i never had that <laughs> right the uh, salary was 12000 uh, think uh, of it uh, na salary is 12000 you are paying 2000 for mm-hmm. a cup of coffee mm-hmm. you you will think like a fool <laughs> or what right mm-hmm. so these things has happened but at the end i understood that money is not important the more you spend and circulate in market the more it comes back in a positive way some day yes. not immediately but it will it takes some efforts right it takes some efforts for sure so paise se paisa bahut baad mein banta hai pehle skill se paisa banta hai if you have skills you will make money in the market usme sabse bada skill hai selling hmm if you can't sell you're not making any money no matter what you know in the market hmm Selling is the only thing, and you asked about the podcast and look, two hours. How can you listen? You need to sell it to people. That you have to listen to two hours. Correct. Like you need to make them realize that two hours is important. Mm-hmm. End to listen, then it will be done. Types. So uh, my main mantra, like uh, with mm-hmm. respect to what you said, is that anything that has hel- that has value, it will be selling easily. No. so counter question agar aap kar rahe hain to like what's like i'll tell you ex- very simple thing in the robert kiyosaki's book mm-hmm. uh, rich dad poor dad he mm-hmm. wrote it very categorically mm-hmm. it is never a best written book it's always a best selling book oh yes you can so actually th- it it might have some values in it right it might have some value but you need to show that value to people correct in so, bits and pieces okay so uh, what i'm what i'm perceiving it as of now is ki it's 50% selling it 50% value it's 100% selling because value okay. is created one time hmm. right so we are shooting this podcast now hmm. this may have value for some people this may not have value for some people Definitely. this will be a complete crap for some people hmm. right hmm. Hmm. but jinke liye isme value ho sakta hai you need to find out those people and tell them oh target audience target audience yes you need to do the right targeting hmm. again right so people who know me or people who know you that you are creating valuable hmm. content hmm. might end up hearing it for first 10 minutes initially yes if they don't find value as you said mm-hmm. they will never listen it again right Correct. so for me when i was i first time went to youtube to find out a lot of things mm-hmm. only three channels i could stuck to was impact theory mm-hmm. mind valley like mind valley ka koi bhi master class aisa nahi hai jo maine nahi dekha ho oh. and i stuck to them for complete one and a half hours mm-hmm. i have learned workshop sales from that master class तो आधा घंटा बेचेगा बट लोग छोड़ते नहीं उसको लोग वो सेल्स पिच भी सुनते हैं अगर सेल्स पिच पूरा सुन लिया तो खरीदेगा एंड इफ यू सी इन इंडिया ऑनलाइन लर्निंग में जो कम्पलीशन रेशो है सिक्स टू सेवन परसेंट बट फॉर माइंड वेल इट इज सिक्सटी परसेंट होली शेट राइट नाउ वी थॉट इट इज अबाउट कॉन्टेंट इट इज अबाउट दिस एंड दैट बट इन वंस वन ऑफ द वीडियोज विशन लिखे नहीं शेयर दिस ऑल्सो सर इट इज अबाउट साउंड इंजीनियरिंग and the audio engineering and the video that, engineering that brings me to a very good inference uh, the people who has shown their reels very transitionally ki yes. yahan se ye aa raha hai yes. they get a lot of views like yes. initial level because pe because people stuck to them unko acha mm, lagta hai wo dekh correct correct 